How you doing today? My name is Keno Thomas and today we are going to talk about the four forces of flight. Uh, there are a lot of forces that are going on with an aircraft as we fly in different types of uh, configurations. But there are four basic ones that we talk about in aerodynamics uh, that we, we pretty much concentrate on and we make sure that our students have a really, really good idea of what's going on with them. The four force, forces of flight are lift, weight or gravity, because weight is basically gravitational pull, thrust, and drag. And we're also going to talk about the other components of drag, because there's different components, there's kind of like subparts, and then we'll expand on that. Uh, so, just to jump right in, let's tighten in on the board here. Okay, the four forces of flight. The cool thing about being a flight instructor is that you get to play with a lot of toys. Okay, so here's our airplane. Okay, it's a single engine airplane. We can see the propeller, and I'm just going to tighten in just a little closer. So there we go, focus. Here's our aircraft. Okay, we can see the propeller. We can see the tail. So we're going to simulate. We're just going to pretend that this aircraft is flying in this direction, straight ahead. Now, we talked about the first force out of the four forces, which is lift. And as we talk about different forces acting on an airplane, you're going to see a lot of arrows. We call those arrows vectors, uh, which just gives you an indication of how the force is reacting upward by this arrow. So, lift is the upward force. The forward force is thrust caused by the power plant. We have a downward force which is called weight or gravity. And then I'll pull back and then we have a rearward force which is called drag. So here's our airplane in the middle, and those are the forces. We have drag, which is our rearward force. We have lift, which is the upward force. Thrust, pr produced by the power plant, it's our forward, our forward force. And weight, or gravity, is our downward force. Let's pull out a little bit so we can see a little bit better. Okay. So those are the four forces of flight. Now. Drag has some subcomponents. Drag has subcomponents which are induced and parasite. So the subparts of drag are induced and parasite drag. Induced drag is just basically caused by the production of lift. You know, since the airplane is producing lift, it's just basically a byproduct of lift, the induced drag. The parasite drag is caused by, let's, let's fly in, the parasite, dra the parasite drag is caused by basically uh, anything protruding out into the slipstream or the relative wind of the aircraft, like the wings, where the, you know, where you got parts coming together, because if you just had this fuselage, then um, basically it would be a lot more streamlined but we have parts actually extending out into the relative wind of the atmosphere or space that we're flying through and so just the fact that these parts are going to be in the wind they cause different types of drag. Uh, the subparts of parasite drag are skin friction drag, form drag, and interference drag. So that's basically it on the four forces. Let's pull out. So just to recap, we talked about the four forces of flight and how it acts on our aircraft. Uh, lift, thrust, weight or gravity, and drag. And we talked about the subcomponents of drag which is power Parasite drag and induced drag. Parasite drag is just caused by parts 
protruding out into the relative wind while induced drag is a byproduct of lift. My name is Keno Thomas and I thank you for watching. Bye bye.